we'll talk about qualified retirement plans and some of the tax deferred growth kind of out of the, the, the bond discussion. So uh, we've got traditional IRAs. So for 2019, the maximum contribution uh, is $6,000, $7,000. You get a $1,000 catch up if you're over the age of 50, right? So um, you can put up to $6,000 in the traditional IRA and that money will grow tax deferred or tax delayed. Uh, this is really good for, for people that are, um, you know, trying to reduce their adjusted gross income because the money that you put into that fund is tax deductible. So it actually lowers the amount of money that you're paying taxes on. And as it grows, right, it's growing tax delayed. You don't actually pay income tax in that money until you take it out in retirement. Now there can be some early distribution penalties. If you take that money out before age 59 and a half, you may have to pay a 10% penalty, but there are some exceptions to the rule. A 401k or a 403b or your qualified retirement plan um, has a higher contribution limit, right? So for 2019, that maximum contribution limit is $19,000 with a $6,000 catch up over the age of 50, right? So you can put more money away, lower your adjusted gross income by even more by taking advantage of the 401k or 403b. Um, so think about that when it comes to uh, how much do I want to lower my uh, adjusted gross income and take advantage of some of that tax deferred or tax delayed growth. The other thing to kind of bring up here is traditional IRAs have a lot of income limitations. So depending on whether or not you or your spouse is uh, covered by a qualified plan at work, uh, that'll lower the amount of income that you can make and still take the tax deduction to the traditional IRA. Whereas a 401k, if it's in a qualified retirement plan, there are no income limitations, right? So that could be a great strategy. So a lot of times what we do here for people at Bull Financial Group, uh, for people that are in uh, kind of sole proprietorships or they have, um, you know, kind of a, an LLC or, you know, just kind of a business that they're running, kind of that side hustle where they're getting 1099 income, we can actually set up a solo 401k, no matter what your income is, to take advantage of being able to save $19,000 a year, right, rather than $6,000 a year and lowering your adjusted gross income. You're also not restricted by that income limitation. So it could be a very powerful strategy for people if you have some of that 1099 income or you're, you offer a, a sole proprietorship. Mm -hmm.